This is the next generation of surveillance. For the first time, we actually have permission from the government to show the basic capabilities. It is important for the public to know that some of these capabilities exist. Engineer Yanis Antoniades designed the new sensor, known as Argus, with 1.8 billion World pixels. highest resolution the... camera. Argus fits inside this pod that attaches to the belly of a UAV. But because much of the work is classified, we can't see the sensor itself. Because we are not allowed to expose some of the pieces that make up the sensors, so you get to look at pretty plastic curtains. Also known as wide area persistent stare, equivalent Argus of having up to a hundred predators look at an area the size of a medium-sized city at once. This image was taken 17,500 feet above Quantico, Virginia, and covers 15 square miles. This whole image is at a very, very fine resolution. So if we wanted to know what is going on in any spot along this image, say near this building at this intersection, we can generate a moving image that shows what's going on in the area. Simply by touching the screen, Antoniades has opened up a window showing a detailed area while still maintaining the broader context. And everything that is a moving object is being automatically tracked. The color boxes represent that the computer has recognized the moving objects. You can see individuals crossing the street. You can see individuals walking in parking lots. There's actually enough resolution to be able to see the people waving their arms or walking around, what kind of clothes they wear. And you could pick the location of where you produce these images anywhere in the entire field of view. Antoniades can open up to 65 windows at once and can see objects as small as six inches on the ground. From even 17,500 feet, the white thing that you see flying around is a bird. Argus streams live to the ground and also stores everything, a million terabytes of video a day, which is the equivalent of 5,000 hours of high-definition footage. So you can go back and say, I would like to see what happened at this particular location three days, two hours, four minutes ago, and it would actually show you exactly what happened as if you were watching it live. To create the world's highest-definition camera, Antoniades needed to design a new imaging chip. But DARPA, the project's funder, wanted to move fast and keep costs down. So he borrowed technology that most people have in their pockets. Inside this cell phone, okay, we find a tiny little camera. So if you were to take off the majority of it, you'd be left with an imaging chip. If you were to take 368 of this, and make a big mosaic out of them and start shooting images, now you have Argus. Unlike the Predator camera that limits field of view, Argus melds together video from each of its 368 chips to create a 1.8 billion pixel video stream. This makes it possible to zoom in and still see tremendous detail. Whether Argus has been deployed in the field is classified. I'm not at liberty to discuss plans with the government, but if we had our choice, we would like Argus to be over the same area 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's not very easily achievable with manned platforms. This is where UAVs come in, and they're absolutely the perfect platform. Argus may be mounted on an armed UAV like the Predator a long-range platform like the giant Global Hawk, or a development craft called the Solar Eagle that may someday stay aloft for years at a time. The U.S. Air Force right now has the ability to archive every single video that comes off of every single UAV. We're moving to an increasingly electronic society where our movements are going to be tracked. 